what's up? This is Zach Myers from the band Shine Down, and I am here at PRS today to talk about my signature model, the Zach Myers Signature SE. <laughs> For me, building this guitar was such a different experience than building the first signature model because the first one I think I was just so excited to have a signature guitar at all that I wanted a guitar that I wanted and I, was, I always loved this kind of single cut style. I always loved Ace Frehley and Peter Frampton. Not even necessarily playing, but the aesthetic of the third humbucker. So when I did the third humbucker, that was about me and it wasn't about anyone else. It wasn't about a player, it wasn't about you know, it was about me. And then when we put that guitar out, the fan feedback I was hearing was the pickup, the middle pickup, people didn't like it because people play right here, like like most sane people do. And they, they weren't digging it. And when we decided to do this one, we wanted to come up with a guitar on the SE line that felt like a private stock guitar and looked like a private stock guitar and had that kind of aesthetic to it. I remember when we did the Archon shoot, the original Archon shoot, uh, me and Mark and Dusty and Amo were in there and Mark picked it up and thought it was a core guitar. He thought it was a core guitar. And that to me was like, I kind of looked at Bev and I was like, I, I know we hit this now. I know we hit the mark where we want it. The cool thing about the color to me was we were the first person to use this color. I looked at a bunch of just basically just wood blocks stained and we saw this and I wanted to use this. That was another thing, it was, it was coming out with a color that no one had ever seen and then taking things that I like on core guitars, brass saddles, vintage tuners, uh, this is the big thing for me, the clear knobs. You know, I've, I've always, ever since I started working with PRS, I would get them to send every guitar with just the plain flat, not lampshade, just clear knobs. And I don't know, I like the way it looked. To me, if you put an amber knob on here or you put, you know, even a even a lampshade knob, you're you're taking away from what the guitar is. You're 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 adding another aesthetic to the guitar. And I'm I'm a, as a huge fan of art. My personal opinion it was almost like an eyesore if you put a different color knob on here. So the clear you still can see through and you can still get the whole tone of the guitar. And it's the way it looks, and the natural back too was was very important. Um the, the satin neck, because I uh, sweat like an idiot uh, when I play on stage and I don't get nervous, but I feel like my hands get nervous. So um, the, the non-gloss on the neck was very important to me. Obviously having the birds, because that's to me is like, the, I have the birds tattooed on my arm. I don't know which camera's gonna get that, but so, you know, the birds mean a lot to me as well. And then, and then you know, coming up with the sound of the guitar. And th these 245S pickups are something to me that sound great. And when we made it, like I was, I was, I was saying earlier um, off camera, was that I like setting amps flat completely across. Because to me, if you can get a tone of that and kind of, this is obviously a clean tone, but. And that's kind of the tone I like, that scoopy kind of mid-rangey, but with a ton of low end that doesn't break up. I love that tone. So to have that and make a pickup that can channel that where you don't have to necessarily mess with the amp or, or turn the treble all the way up or the bass all the way up, that was something to me that meant a lot. You know, the feedback we've gotten on this thing over the last couple of years has been truly tremendous. People want this guitar because of how it plays and the price point. You know, to have a price point like this of a guitar that plays so well, you know, this, this, to, no one can play this guitar to me and say it doesn't play like a $2,500, $3,000 guitar. And that to me, that's it. That's the finish line for me. This is the, uh, the Zach Myers signature PRS Trampus Green. <laughs>